Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I am bringing you a 2022 Hyundai Tucson. The Tucson, completely redesigned for 2022, and I'm so excited to get into it. I'm doing the limited all-wheel drive trim level today. It has an MSRP of $37,000 for this compact five-passenger SUV, and I have brought two car seats, a stroller, and all of the things to show you if it is a good car for mothers. If this is your first time joining me. Hey, I'm Kelly, and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below about which car I should tour next. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so Hyundai has had some redesigns recently. They released the Palisade, they redid the Santa Fe, and now we have the Tucson. All the cars are so cohesive, and I really appreciate that about the Hyundai lineup. If we're looking at the front grille, I'm really liking the not chrome, but instead like this blackish gunmetal gray kind of grille instead. I think it looks really sharp. The hood line's a little dramatic too. I mean, it's not subtle. We've got hood lines here, a sharp hood line here, and then some lines right here as well. So really it plays off nicely. I think it looks very sporty. We've got some wraparound um, headlights right here, kind of small, kind of looks like the Palisade Santa Fe. Like I said, all the cars are very cohesive. Coming around to the side profile, we've got some really great two-tone wheels, a little bit different. And then we kind of start into her side profile. We've got some nice chrome around the mirror right here, chrome all the way around the window that kind of comes into this nice chrome part that really extends the body. Black underneath here, black gloss roof rails. Pretty nice. Don't you love the color we're doing today? This color is called Intense Blue, but stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm actually going to be building my own Hyundai Tucson and then I'll tell you my favorite trim level. The Limited though, she's got everything. Coming around to the back, again, we kind of have some of this textured metal right here. That kind of looks nice. We move into some pretty cool headlights, or excuse me, tail lights right here. Spar goes all the way across. Not my favorite look, but it's okay. And then this is kind of cool. The Hyundai Tucson logo is like embedded in the glass. Isn't that kind of different? Like instead of just having the logo here, it's embedded. I think they are probably one of the only cars that did not choose to double space the wording. So they're trailblazers that way. Yeah, I actually really, really like the back end. I think it looks cool. I mean, look how cool these like little, little T headlight or tail lights that are coming off of it. They hid the wiper up here to kind of tuck it in. I think that looks really nice and really clean. I'm actually a huge fan of the back end. This is, that's freaking cool. All right, let's get into the interior. We're starting with the door panel. So pretty simple. We've got some high gloss black here with some memory seats. Instead of this being like a wood trim or something, it's fabric, which is, I mean, not my favorite. High gloss black here, you know, it looks pretty. It's fingerprint city. I've talked about that before. Um, a little side cubby right there. We just got some Grande Starbucks. What did I get? A Grande iced coffee oat milk and brown sugar syrup. It's delicious. So, I mean, obviously that would check out. I'm a little scared to do it. Sorry, I forgot my cup. But overall, door panel is pretty simple. The rest of the interior though, I'm very excited about. So let me get you on the other side. I'm honestly so impressed with this interior. I mean, I'm telling you, if you look at this vehicle compared to some of the American made cars, this interior is so much better, not only in the design, but also in the technology and just the overall look of it. To start, we have a completely digital dash that is customizable. I mean, I think it looks amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I'll show you the different themes in a second, but like that looks so cool. I'm loving these contrast buttons right here. This is kind of cool. This little star button, this is a customizable button so you can make it whatever you want it to do. So if you want it to be like, turn on your home navigation, call a certain person, it's a completely customizable button. See, here's all the different things that you can do. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, as far as my seat comfort's concerned, guys, I, like, when I first sat in this car, I was like, whoa. Like, the seats are so comfortable. They're really nice how they hug you, but the, also the leather and just the plushness of them is amazing. I mean, they are very comfortable seats. I think this little chrome part right here is really cool as well. These seats are both heated and ventilated on this trim level, so that's really exciting to me. Um, moving into some of this area, again, we kind of have that fabric right here. I don't know. I mean, the car is definitely sporty, so I can't really say if I'm like missing that wood trim or not. Comment below about what you think of that fabric. I'm sure it's more cost effective. And then we go into this beautiful, completely built-in display. Now, sc screen to button ratio is interesting because this, these are like buttons but not, so they are kind of hard to find. But when you touch them, oh, they don't vibrate. See, I wish they kind of vibrated because like they just beep at me. All right. Oh my gosh. 
Anyway, I think the display is really, really nice. I think it's user friendly. I like it. From a mom's perspective, they have something called quiet mode. So when quiet mode is activating, it will turn down the radio in the back seats, which is awesome. And then this customizable button, you can actually set it to turn on to quiet mode. So I think that's a great feature. We move into our climate control down here. We've got two USBs, a 12 volt, a wireless charger, some more buttons right here, like our heated and ventilated seats, our heated steering wheel. Our shifter is kind of fun, just complete buttons. No shifter there, really, really space saving. Parking brake, auto hold love auto hold if you don't know what that is it will essentially hold the car in park when you come to a complete stop so it's really great for like stoplights grade school pickups the starbucks drive through because you can put the hold this button on it'll keep the car stopped and you can take your foot off the brake looking into our center console honestly for the size of the car i'm pretty impressed with it there's a starbucks grande for reference my friends it's actually a really nice size the cup holders are great um there's no sunglass holder which is driving me kind of crazy and then on either side right here, there's another little cubby as well. So I think that's nice. This mirror is huge. Oh my gosh, I have not in my teeth this whole time. Um, the mirror is huge. Do you see how big that mirror is? Holy smokes. And then we also have a panoramic sunroof as well. I mean, for a little SUV, like you are not, they are not sleeping on any of the comforts or luxury features for sure. I'm really excited about that. Also, on the limited trim level, check this out. Backup camera and surround view camera. That is really nice. I mean, the car has all of the technology. We've got the automated cruise control. We've got the blind spot. We've got the front and rear sensors. We've got active brake assist. I'm really, really impressed. But this is awesome. But how's that back seat? How are the car seats? What can all fit? That's what we're going to find out. Okay, so a little bit about the car seat setup. Across the bench, we have two sets of lower anchors and then tether anchors across all three seats, AKA government requirement. But as far as the spacing is concerned, let's talk about that. So I brought two car seats today, a Kleckling and a Graco Xenefit. Obviously the Kleckling is a pumpkin seat or an infant seat, so it's installed rear facing. And I'm just trying to give you an idea of the spacing. So I have this seat set for myself at about six feet tall. Pumpkin seat fits great. The lower anchors, they are buried in that leather. So just be aware, it might take you a minute. It took me a minute and I install car seats all day long. On the other side, we have the gray co extended fit. I installed that with a seat belt. No problem installing that. The headrests are removable. Um, only thing I wasn't obsessed with was this middle seat belt right here is on this seat. So I had a little bit of trouble, like you had to pull this out so you can install this seat without it affecting it. So I'm not obsessed with it and I honestly don't know how I would be able to fit in the middle just because of the way the seat belts are positioned. I also tried to install the gray co in the middle seat instead to try to like show you any hope for a three across situation. And I'm not going to rule it out because I obviously can't test every single car seat combination out. But if you're thinking about doing three across in this car, it would probably not. And as always, I would consult a certified child passenger safety tech for your specific car seat needs. Okay, let me take this car seat out and let me show you the space that I'm working with. Okay, so if you can see, like this is where this seatbelt comes from. So to install that, and then you had this on the lower anchor, like I don't really feel comfortable with that. So I'm not obsessed with that. I'm not obsessed with that at all. But as far as my space is concerned, I've got some great knee clearance, right? I mean, again, this seat that's for myself, I've got plenty of head clearance, I've got good knee clearance, and the seats are actually really comfortable. As far as my amenities are concerned in the second row, starting with the door panel, you know, very cohesive to the front, a little bit of like a bottle holder right there. Also have heated seats in this trim level, which is really, really, really exciting. We've got a little mesh back pocket here, vents there, and then two USBs. So pretty comfortable. Let me try to sit in this center seat too. Yeah, see this center seat's just, bit, oh, this is way too tight. Like I'm completely pressed against that. I don't even have a car seat on this side. The center seat in this car is lame. Lame, pull this down, two more cup holders. That panoramic center looks so nice. So great for two car seats, great for two car seats. Okay, let's take a look at that trunk. Okay, so to open the trunk, it's actually all the way down here. Could also do it on the key as well, obviously. And then we have the Mockingbird double stroller. Oh, that does not, oh, there we go. Um, we have the Mockingbird double stroller. We just kind of threw it in here. So like, we're not trying to save any space at all. And obviously it already fits. So like, I don't even have this on its side. I have both seats over there. So overall, pretty impressed with the size of the trunk, especially for the size of the car. Let's take this out. Spare tires underneath there. And then you can actually put down the seats from either one of these sides. So a 12 volt there. Yeah, see that the car seat got in the way. Pause. 
there you go so there's kind of a shot of what it looks like with that part down obviously you could put the other seat down as well for a ton of nice cargo space we've got a power tailgate very nice Okay, a couple more things in the interior that I just wanted to point out. So we talked about this completely digital um, dash. I wanted to show you some of the different drive modes and what it does to the display. So your drive mode button is right down here. We have snow, smart, but look what happens, look what happens when you put it in sport. Hoo -hoo. And then back to normal. So I think that's just kind of a fun touch. Also something I'm loving, and I kind of thought it was silly at first, but something I'm loving about the new Hyundais and Kias is that they come with something called sounds of nature so you can literally pick what you want to listen to when you're driving around whether it be calming sea waves a rainy day an open air cafe so what i'm basically telling you is the car has a built-in sound machine which for anyone who's trying to encourage a car nap that is a feature that is very very exciting to us mothers so i love that Okay, so that is going to wrap up my 2022 Hyundai Tucson tour. As far as the drive is concerned, it's very zippy. I mean, it's a small car. It's got a four-cylinder engine in it. It's zipping around town. It's pretty. It's honestly a pretty fun drive. It's also a very quiet drive, which I was kind of impressed by. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other five passenger cars you want to see. And if there's anything that I'm missing or didn't show on the tour, uh, make sure you comment below about what else you'd like to see. Thanks. Okay, guys, let's build my very own 2022 Hyundai Tucson. Now, first things first, just look at the difference in these body styles. I mean, what a freaking upgrade. I This looks so good, the new one. Hyundai keeps it simple. There's three trim levels. It's like, thank you for just keeping it simple. The SE, the SEL, and the Limited. Now, I really can't do the SE. I just honestly can't. So if we look at the SEL, for example, we've got the heated front seats, we get the blind spot. I also really like that you can compare trims on the Hyundai because it literally like tells you, you know, not only what's on each trim, trim level, but also how to get it. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get the SEL, but then I'm going to get the convenience package so I get some more of these things. So that way I'm saving a little bit of money by not going up all the way to the limited, but still getting a lot of great features. So I'm going to do the SEL trim level. I'm going to add the convenience package. Okay, looking at the different colors, I really think I'm going to keep, I don't really, oh my gosh, this <laughs> stupid, oh, there we go. Okay, um, I do like that, so we're going to go with that. I'm going to stick with the gray interior. I am going to go up to all-wheel drive, and that's all I'm going to do. That is my going to be, I'm finishing my build there. I'm finishing my build. So that would bring my Hyundai Tucson SEL with convenient package to an MSRP of $30,325.